Hello, and welcome to a new series I am starting. This series will be a bunch of 10-second levels that I shall upload on my second GD account, Another Rift, and I shall be teaching you how to make each layout style. So, the first thing I did was I chose a song. The song that you should choose has to be a fairly fast-paced song with a slow beginning. In this case, I chose Derp Cat's song, I Am Ruckus. Okay, to begin, you try and time some fairly slow bits, like not necessarily these jumps, but like some slow orbs or something to the music so it feels more climatic at the drop. So now the drop comes. Uh, I'm going to cut a little bit ahead because video time. I don't want it to be too much. So here I'm messing with mini portals at the beginning and then an orb. Um, it's good to do these before an orb. Because an orb, if it's obvious to click it, it doesn't matter if you're mini or big. So if you click it, by the time you're out of it, you know what size you are. In this case, invisible mini portals shouldn't be that big an issue and just add to the level. This is a cool ball trick thing where you can have the ball move around really quickly. I kind of abuse it during this, but, you know, it sort of worked. Uh, I had a little orb segment and then I had a UFO section. Okay, and then the idea was you'd have to jump onto that little pad. Uh, it sort of didn't work at first because of where I had the spike, but I moved it a bit after. There we go. So, um, at this point, I was trying to switch game modes more often, and I tried to do an idea, but then I kind of scrapped it. Um, so I'm just going to cut to where I... You know, made a half decent decision for once, which was right over, yeah, here. So now I decided to go with just a simple cube transition into a simple mini wave. So for this mini wave, I was trying to do something a bit simpler, just a transition using the wave. Wave transitions are hard to do, but they're really fun and they can pay off, as shown by levels like High Spirits by Wolsey. So here, if you were to go up, you would pop out the cube and fly low, which gives the level a bit more of a dynamic feel. And there's a green orb and another wave, and I was going to do this idea, but I sort of scrapped it because it wasn't working the way I thought it was. Um, so here I decided to, pretty soon I decided to change it and just go with that. Just a little bit of my old idea followed by a tight timing. Now, one thing I am going to say, it's basically impossible to make a speed core layout without it being a demon, because speed core, the whole idea is it's fast. Okay, so here I'm using some simple ship slopes, so I like what I did with the ball before, but I'm making it so you have to hit an orb while you're in the middle or else you'll die. Uh, it hasn't come up yet, but it should fairly soon. Yeah. So you need to click that orb during the ship segment or else you'll enter the cube on the wrong side and you will die. And then here I cut a little ahead because I spent like 5 hours messing around with, um, not 5 hours, but like 12 minutes messing around with uh, teleport portals, which eventually I figured out how to use correctly, wow me. Um, and then over here, I tried to add a little transition-y kind of thing. It didn't quite work, so I just spliced some orbs instead. And the UFO was supposed to be too, like a double-click, like a fast-paced double-click. Over and over, see, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Fairly simple. I like to listen to the, just a little tip, as, like a side tip. I like to listen to music while I work or do stuff or whatever because I can visualize GG levels in my head. If I can't do that, then I usually will play the song while I'm working. This was an example of that. Clip's been muted though. Uh, here I just added some blue orbs that are slightly tight timings because if you click them too late, there aren't J blocks and you'll jump into spikes. But it is fairly simple.